This is NDTV and you are watching NDTV Prime. Hi and thanks for watching On Art. I'm Anu Subramanian. Tonight, performance takes center stage as we dive into dance, poetry, drama. We'll also see a little bit about the conceptual, a little bit about the classical, and a little bit of something that mixes it all together. It's going to be a thrilling episode. Come along. We wanted to kick off this episode about performance art with our profile of Atish Sahab because we think he really exemplifies what makes performance art so unique. I mean, Atish once lived in a box for 72 hours for a performance. Let's go inside what makes him tick. Performance art is radical, unusual, even uncomfortable sometimes. It's a form of art that dates back centuries, but has never quite been accepted the way that paintings and sculptures have. After all, here we see men and women embody a variety of characters. They reject narrative and force us to wait to understand the power of the process. In the case of 25-year-old Bangladeshi artist Atish Saha, it's a way to learn more about yourself and perhaps embody an alien clown in the process. Atish Saha began making art as a painter and afterward became a successful photographer and photojournalist. His coverage of Bangladesh's riots in 2013 earned him recognition worldwide. But the stress, and limits of photojournalism soon began to wear on him, and Atish Saha began looking to new means of expression. I was a photographer, so still I am. So it's like um, there was like certain boundaries where um, I was trying to like provoke some thoughts and then like trying to like cross the limits and boundaries and then like I found the medium performance art and they are like I could bring into uh, in the art like in the space I could bring into my soul like soul in a sense like my uh, limits and then I could come out from my limits. We met Atish Saha after he put on a performance at Sunaparanta Center for the Arts in Panjim Goa. The work was slow, then staccato strange and also calming. As part of his performance, he walked nearly five kilometers and, embodying an extraterrestrial clown, he covered a life cycle over the course of his two-hour piece. You don't know what uh, interesting thing about performance art, like um, you try to build one character and then it's end up being some something else, like you don't have the actual like actual control of the whole situation. You thought about something and then but at the performance you feel like oh it's becoming something else. So so there are some uh, parts of you that you don't have uh, the power to discover in like in your regular life but in the performance those things comes out and then you know yourself more. Performance art is like it doesn't deal with the real time. So for uh, you know like um, outside of our space uh, the time there's nothing called time. Time doesn't exist. What makes up performance art is a surrender to emotion and a willingness to lay bare. I don't think everybody has that. Everybody, if everybody has those drive, everybody would be the, doing this, but everybody is not doing it. But at the same time, there are possibilities like maybe everybody has it, but they have their control and they control their insanity in a different way. Like somebody will maybe uh, eat lots of food and then control their insanity. Somebody will kill someone and control their insanity. Like. You know, the to uh, like to not rule, to like cope up with the reality, how you deal with it. But ultimately, performance art, like any art form, is an exploration of humanity. Where aren't we all performing a little bit every day? The familiar and feeling, you make a progress of knowing yourself more. So it's like knowing yourself.
While Atish Saha's performance is quite contemporary, let's look at something a bit more classical, Kathakali. We followed along as performers got dressed, painted their faces green, and put on stories of Hindu mythology. First, a layer of yellow. Base makeup made from a paste is spread evenly across the face. Then, a lot of green, or red, or black. Finally, dark lines are drawn around the eyes to exaggerate. Lips are made redder and plump like berries. Emotion comes with the costume in Katakali. This dance style originated in Kerala 1,500 years ago and remains a hallmark of South Indian culture. As the sun drops, Katakali dancers take the stage. In low light, after three hours of makeup, they arrive seeming something beyond human. And they might be. After all, Katakali is a celebration of mythology. Gods and demons alike come together to act out stories from Hindu epics. The Ramayana, the Mahabharata, war and peace, joy and sadness, they all find a place in Katakali. One of the most stark traits in a Katakali performance is the Pacha, a bright green face makeup. It's impossible to miss. Pacha is painted on the most noble characters in a performance. Often gods and kings are given this color. Of all dance forms, Katakali might be the most captivating. Expression underlies the whole performance. Dancers often train for 10 years, perfecting each gesture before ever performing in front of others. Kathakali artists usually express one of nine emotions, or navarasans, which include anger, wonder, disgust, and tranquility. But what could be seen as clownish instead is deeply layered and sensitive. Watch a Kathakali dancer in action, and you'll see he or she has countless different smiles, countless ways to show sadness. Underneath the elaborate costumes and heavy jewelry, Katak is a performance where actions speak louder than words and emotions speak loudest of all. After the break, poetry is performance and paper folding is dance. Curious how? Stick around. On Art, we'll be right back. 